In this illustration, we'll analyze the case of freezing due to a vacuum pump. We are given that some water at zero degree centigrade is placed in a large insulated enclosure, which is connected to a vacuum pump. Here, the water vapor formed in vessel is continuously pumped out by vacuum pump, obviously, which is given here. So, it is asking what fraction of water will ultimately freeze in the vessel, given that the latent heat of vaporization is seven times the latent heat of fusion. So, here we can consider the case for the clarity of situation, we will draw a figure also. Say, this is a container which is connected to a vacuum pump. And in this situation, some water is taken in it. And when the vacuum pump is switched on, the water vapor will be evacuated. And for the formation of vapor, some amount of heat is absorbed by the water which is vaporizing from the existing water only. So, its temperature will fall. And if it is already at zero degree centigrade and if it will lose heat, then it will start freezing out. So, here we can consider if uh, x mass of water will uh, freeze and this is the ice form due to the supply of heat for the amount of water which is being vaporized. Then m minus x mass can be considered to be vaporized. So, in this situation we can write if uh, x mass of water freeze and m minus x gets vaporized, then we can consider that all heat of vaporization comes from water which freezes. This implies here we can write the amount of water which we are assuming that it is freezing is x. So, it releases an amount of heat x multiplied by latent heat of fusion and the same amount of heat vaporizes m minus x amount of water. So, we can write it m minus x multiplied by latent heat of vaporization and it is happening at zero degree centigrade. So, no variation in temperature will take place. And we are given that latent heat of vaporization will consider as seven times the latent heat of fusion. So, in this situation this becomes x is equals to seven m minus seven x. So, it gives 8 x is equals to 7 m or the fraction of water x by m which will freeze out is equals to 7 by 8 that is the result of this problem.